Being the short-haired dog he is, Shamrock needs a house to protect him from the weather of the sometimes frozen northern BC. I decided to build a standard 2x4 construction shed style house, well sealed and insulated from weather, starting with laying out the floor in a 36 by 42 inch pattern, which is the size of Shamrock's current sleeping pad. The floor will be insulated, so I installed vapor barrier in the form of clear plastic poly to sandwich the R12 fiberglass insulation. Using a hammer stapler makes quick work of attaching the poly. For the sheeting of both sides of the floor, I used just a standard construction grade of half inch plywood. Using an air nailer for the two and a quarter inch nails is quick and effortless, but a hammer works fine too. I found placing the plywood on the framing and marking and cutting the plywood on the ground pretty efficient. I used 10 degrees as the angle that I wanted for the shed style sloped roof. So with my bevel square set to 10 degrees, I set about framing the two side walls. I found stacking on the walls on the floor provided some good reference to square, as well as saving my back somewhat. There you have it, a framed wall. The interior wall was vapor barriered and sheeted with half inch plywood. Yeah, the wind sure helped with this process. Walls were then flipped to install R12 fiberglass insulation and Tyvek applied to the exterior. This will allow the wall to breathe somewhat and allow moisture to escape. More fun in the wind. With the side walls in place, I had a pattern for the back wall to be framed using the same plywood poly, insulation, and Tyvek process. end wall then could be secured to the floor and side walls using three and a quarter common air nails. Both front wall and back wall header plates had to be trimmed to a 10 degree angle to allow the sheeting to sit flush against the 2x4s. The front wall has the opening to allow shamrock in and out. I made a boo-boo in calculating the height of the front wall. Don't. Oh. I forgot to allow for the header and footer, so it's three inches too tall. I have an idea. 
but I will reveal later. Nail it home, lad. She did the inside of the front wall. The doghouse played roly poly to complete the tie back wrap. It was like wrapping a Christmas present. Finally got to the exterior sheeting. I used 3 8 inch ranch wall paneling, which gives a nice board-like finish. It is inexpensive at under $30 for a 4 by 8 sheet. I used 1 inch staples to attach the recut panels. I designed the roof to have an overhang for weather protection. Notice the opening I left in the roof and the interior sheeting. This was to accommodate the boo-boo from earlier. Told you I'd fill you in. So I can call it part of the design for a removable roof. Roof received vapor barrier on both sides of the insulation as the roof is going to be a piece of tin from another project. I feel the removable roof is important to be able to access your pet in case they get sick and have to be assisted out. A coat of paint to match the she shed. Fancy trim work cut from the ranch wall panels. Then we have a dog shed. Question is, does he like it? I think he does. As proven by the doggy kisses. Nope, no more snackaroonies. <laughs>